Hello everyone and welcome back to the Pumpkin Patch uh, for today's special edition of Halloween shopping. I'm your host for today, Jessica Moser, and today I am taking you on a little shopping excursion to Trader Joe's. It's a Sunday morning, James is working, and so I thought I'd head out here. Uh, Trader Joe's in, in, uh, in our neck of the woods is on a really busy road, so Sunday morning is probably the best opportunity that I'll have to shop here without a ton of additional people. Um, we'll still see how busy the store is. I may have to voice over this stuff, but I'll show you the video of all the pumpkin stuff that they have to offer here at Trader Joe's. Um, I'm very excited about their pumpkin offerings this year. I've heard tale there's a lot of uh, gluten-free pumpkin options this year at Trader Joe's, so let's go in and see what they have to offer. Right as we're walking up, there's this cool thing where you can put your, your head through. And then they have pumpkins. And their pumpkins are $4.49. And they look really, really nice. Good size for carving. There's my hand so you can kind of get a feel for how large it is. Pumpkin and butternut squash bisque for $3.99 looks delicious. Oh, they also have pumpkin dog treats. Those were awesome. And they had a variety of them. That's pumpkin maple bacon flavored. Ooh, gluten-free pumpkin bread and muffin baking mix. I actually bought some of this and then we uh, I haven't used it yet. Yep, that's one of the things that went home with us. Gluten-free pumpkin streusel muffins. Those went home with us too, and they were delicious. Obviously, I'm recording this after the fact. They also have gluten-free pumpkin bread. That was awesome. It says pumpkin bread with warm spices. Sounds delicious. And then I also see, peek in the background, the gluten-free cinnamon muffins. Oh, and these gluten-free pumpkin spice bagels. Those also delicious good with peanut butter on them. Uh, pumpkin blondie brownies, $3.99. And they also had pumpkin spice Madeline cookies. Those also looked really good. Pumpkin brioche twist bread. The bread selection at Trader Joe's is really good. They also had hand twisted cinnamon sugar bread. They have regular glutinous pumpkin bagels. Pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. Pumpkin chipotle roasting sauce. Also looked delicious, but I don't know what it would be good in. They had regular pumpkin pancake and waffle mix and then gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix. And also some regular glutinous pumpkin bread and muffin mix. Ooh, apple cider fruit spread. This looks so good. I didn't get any of it, but they also had cinnamon bun spread. I bet those would be good on some of those bagels. Or probably just on regular toast. But the cinnamon bread spread, the cinnamon bun spread might also be good on some of that pumpkin bread. They also had pumpkin bisque. We actually tasted this in the store on a later date, and uh, it wasn't good. Just to be very honest, you guys, it, it sounded delicious, but it, it's not good. Uh, I mean, maybe you'll like it. I didn't. Uh, pumpkin, like, Nutri-Grain bars. $1.99 is also a great price for these, I thought. And they look delicious. Uh, pecan pumpkin instant oatmeal. I'm a big oatmeal fan. I don't know if you guys are, but love some oatmeal. It's a great breakfast. Also pecan praline granola. Again, not pumpkin, but a fall flavor. And that granola was also gluten-free. So exciting. Just the clusters maple pecan granola cereal. Oh, they had pumpkin cheesecake croissants. You can see that I shopped right before Hurricane Ian because there's a lot of empty slots in the freezer. Mm. 
You can see there the cooking instructions because apparently I thought that was important to show. Three seed sweet potato crackers. Those were delicious. They also had mini maple walnut biscottis and they also had Halloween Jojo cookies, which are look kind of like Oreos. And then they had some Oktoberfest beer. So uh, uh, Trader Joe's joined that game. Some spiced cider. They also, they had pumpkin tortilla chips, but they didn't have any in stock that day. At least none of that I could find. And they also had a fall harvest salsa. That also sounded delicious. I got those pumpkin tortilla chips on a later date, and they were also very delicious. Oh, the Gourd Tree Pumpkin Cider. I also took this home on this day, as you'll see at the end of the video. And uh, very good, but very pumpkin forward. I'm sorry, not pumpkin forward, cinnamon forward. Butternut squash mac and cheese looked delicious. They also had autumn maple coffee that also sounded really, really good, infused with natural maple flavor. There's some more spiced cider. They had that in several places through the store. And they also had pumpkin spice herbal tea. And I love the little design on the front of that too. Apple cider donuts. Uh, James is a big fan of apple cider donuts, so I had to go, I had to bring some of those home. They also had some pumpkin spice coffee. It was $8.99. That's like a, that's like a pretty okay price for pumpkin spice coffee. Uh, they had some pumpkin overnight oats. Uh, I don't know if you ever made your own, uh, if you ever made your own overnight oats, but they're also delicious. And they had the pumpkin spice latte that's in a little can and then they also had uh, apple turmeric um, kombucha and they also had a selection of fall floral and there were several ladies in the front of the store when I got there who were talking about how you could really make a nice fall floral arrangement. I don't know if you guys are into that, but Trader Joe's actually really has a good selection of fresh floral throughout the year. But I really liked the fall touches they added here. And I also love this pumpkin display as you entered the store. I just thought that was so cute and such a cool touch. All right, that was our trip out to Trader Joe's. I'm not closing out this video quite yet because I'm gonna show you guys the haul that I got when uh, when we get home. Uh, I'm really excited though. For this small store, they have a ton of stuff. And honestly, let me just tell you, I'm wearing my um, wearing my Halloween T-shirt company shirt here, and I got so many compliments from the employees. The employees at our Trader Joe's are super, super friendly and nice. And they were really, ex uh, several people were like, I'm so glad you're the pumpkin spirit. Well, I'm glad they're the pumpkin spirit too. Uh, so um, I'll see you guys back at the house. So first I got these apple cider donuts. These are for James. I just don't know if we're going to get to the apple orchard this year, just because like October is really busy. I think he'll like them. Uh, I know he likes the apple cider donuts from the apple orchard. So hoping this will be a nice surprise for him when he gets home from work today. Also, I got these three seed sweet potato crackers. They were, they were marked gluten-free. Uh, I'm excited to try these and see what they taste like. Um, I also, uh, these are, this is not really fall. It's just like, I got some organic rolled oats. I really like the Trader Joe's oats. Um, I make pumpkin baked oatmeal. 24 ounces is $4. That's pretty good, especially, I mean, they're organic. I don't really care so much about that. They're just tasty, so I do like that. I got the, I got the gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix. Uh, I've tried their, the other Trader Joe's pancake mix, so I'm excited to see what this is like. Um, but I, I'm excited to try it. We usually do breakfast for dinner here at least once a week, so that'll be good for that. Of course, I showed you guys up at this in the, the pumpkin spice hummus. I'm really excited to try this. This would be good with the sweet potato crackers too, so hmm, maybe I'll try this together. Again, I got some maple syrup and that's just like 
I like to sweeten the, the pumpkin baked oatmeal cups with maple syrup. No food shaming here. That's just, it's the way I like to sweeten mine. You do whatever you like best. The gluten-free pumpkin bread and muffin baking mix. Um, I make my own pumpkin bread, but I, I was excited to try this and just see what it's like. I also got the pumpkin pie spiced bagels. Um, they're gluten free, and I I don't nor I don't normally eat a lot of gluten free like gluten free substitute uh, products, but the Trader Joe's gluten free English muffins are amazing. So I'm kind of excited to try their bagels. I've never tried their gluten free bagels before. I did also get the pumpkin the gluten free pumpkin streusel muffins. Um, I've heard that these are amazing because I probably won't eat all four of these in the next week. Um, but they, uh, I've heard that they freeze really well so that you can preserve them for later. All right, and then last, I had to get the pumpkin cider. It just looks so good and there's little pumpkins all over it. And I know maybe that's not a good reason to buy pumpkin cider, but I really, really wanted to try it. So I had to grab it too. So on this trip to Trader Joe's, I spent $46 on and I showed you everything that I bought. Um, so I think that's a really good price. Uh, the pumpkin cider by itself was $10, so all the rest of the food was $36. When you factor in the fact that most of the stuff I bought was gluten-free, I think that's a really great deal overall. So I was really happy with everything that we were able to get on this trip to Trader Joe's, and I was really just excited on how into um, the, the fall and Halloween spirit everyone was there. I didn't show uh, this person, but there was a cashier who um, was dressed up like a witch. Uh, and it's early in October, so that was really, really exciting to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this trip out and this like extra little haul video from Trader Joe's. Uh, if you'd like to see more like shopping content like grocery stores and food stuff, let us know down in the comments. Um, and, uh, or if you hated this, also let us know down the comments. Um, but thank you so much for riding with the Fall Horseman where Halloween lives and fall is forever. And fall foods are also forever. <laughs>